the narcissist has multiple personalities. They have multiple combinations of characteristics or qualities that form their distinctive characters. They have multiple characteristic ways of thinking, feeling and behaving. Depending on the situation and environment and the people that they are around. When the narcissist is seeking narcissistic supply, you will see a personality that is more predatory. They are searching for something. They are trying to hunt someone down and ruthlessly exploit them. They are looking for someone who will be susceptible to their manipulation. Someone who will fall for their deception their false appearance or impression. Once they find a person who is susceptible to this, they can then feed off them. They can then extract whatever they need from them. This predatory personality of the narcissist has developed characteristics from people that they find to be desirable or attractive. These could be people in the narcissist's life or an actor that they have seen in a movie. All of the characteristics and tactics that the narcissist has seen and learned from these people or actors then become a part of the narcissist. The narcissist assigns these characteristics and tactics to themselves as if they were their own, so that they can then be more efficient at achieving their purpose. The narcissist can access any personality whenever it is needed. They can change from one personality to the next at any time. When they change personalities, they don't just act as though that's who they are. They really believe that the personality is them. They really believe that whatever personality they have chosen in that moment that's who they really are. And that's why it can seem so believable to you. You start to believe that the personality that they display to you in the beginning is who they really are. And whenever they bring back the characteristics of that personality, you might start to believe that they are changing. You might start to have hope in them again. But it's not real. It's not who they really are. They can change from one personality to the next at any time, whenever they need to, whenever it is favorable for them to do so. They use these different personalities to secure their sources of supply. They can be whatever you want them to be. If you want them to be kind or caring, if you want them to be passionate, they can instantly pull up the characteristics and tactics that they have learned from movies or people that they have found to be desirable or attractive. People that they have found to be kind, caring or passionate. And then they will display that personality to you. But it's not really them. It isn't real. And sometimes they might just be mirroring you and reflecting back your own characteristics to yourself. You think you're with someone who is kind, caring or passionate, but really you're just with someone who has had a lot of practice at deceiving people.
the narcissist learns how to mimic these characteristics by observing people and situations or by watching an actor in a movie. They notice and perceive something in a person and register it as being significant. They register it as being something that might be useful to them in the future. If they want to take on a personality that is kind, caring or passionate, they will observe a person or an actor who is like this. They will study their facial expressions and body language, their words and actions, and they will then assign these characteristics to their personality for the specific purpose of seducing you and tricking you into doing what they want. They study the characteristics of a person who is kind, caring or passionate and then they act out this role with you as though you are in a movie with them. They can access this personality whenever it is needed and they can switch from one personality to the next at any time. There may have been times where you have noticed them switching characters around certain people or in certain situations. Or they may have done it without intention, accidentally. They just change and become someone completely different instantly. They have no fixed identity. They have no real nature or personality. They have no qualities of their own that makes them individual or unique. And there is no filter to prevent them from crossing into being someone or something else. They never saw any need to stay true to their own identity because they always saw it as being inadequate. So they abandoned who they really are to be whatever anyone else wants them to be. If they want to control you, they will try to deceive you and they will do this by switching to whatever personality they think you want to see. They might display the characteristics of a personality that is kind, caring or passionate. But that doesn't mean that they care about you. That doesn't mean that they love you. They are just displaying the characteristics of the personality that they know you want to see. The personality that they expect to keep you under their control. It's not real. There are no genuine emotions. They are just imitating the conditions of what it would be like. Like an actor in a movie. There are limits to what they can display to you. It's very superficial. They cannot display anything beneath the surface. They cannot display anything of any real depth. Because it isn't real. There's nothing beneath what they are displaying to you. It only appears to be real until you examine it more closely. The personality that they displayed to you in the beginning was not designed to sustain itself over a long period of time. That would require a much higher capacity, a much higher level of ability or power. The personality that the narcissist has created is designed for quickly securing a source of supply. 
because they are feeling down or they are feeling lonely. They need narcissistic supply. So the personality is designed to have a short yet powerful effect on you. Which is why when you first meet them, it feels as though you have this amazing connection. But the only reason why it felt that way was because the personality was designed to have the most powerful impact on you within the shortest amount of time. During that short period in the beginning, they were operating at full capacity. And soon enough, they began to burn out. It's designed to be fast and explosive. It's designed for them to get what they need and then get out of there. Because they already know that their false personality is not built on the foundation of having any real ability or power. It is designed to trick or deceive you and then quickly extract what they need in the shortest amount of time. Which is why they cannot sustain any long periods of interest. Their false personality was not built to last for long periods of time. The narcissist has multiple personalities for different people and situations. Without the personalities, there is either the empty void or the underdeveloped child self, which the narcissist abandoned a long time ago. The multiple personalities are made up of characteristics and tactics that they have seen from actors in movies or people that they know in real life. They believe that these characteristics and tactics would help them to obtain narcissistic supply. Narcissists are predators. They are designed to hunt you down and secure you as a source of supply so they can then extract whatever they need from you. But once they've got you, they don't know how to keep you because they are only designed to secure you and get whatever they need from you. They are not designed to sustain the interest of their source for long periods of time. A predator hunts down their prey, consumes whatever it needs from them and then discards them. And that is how the narcissist is supposed to operate. That is what the narcissist is designed to do. They are designed to trick or deceive you, to manipulate you. That's what helps them to survive. None of it is really them. It's just a bunch of adaptations, coping mechanisms and defense mechanisms that are essential to their survival. They have to take from you. They have to extract what they need from you so that they can survive. They are not designed to give or build anything with you because that is not in the interest of their survival. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforvercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.